Hey y'all, it's your girl Johnny. Real talk, New York with Johnny. They got up in vanity. What a calamity. Them got the audacity. Them got the audacity. Okay, guys. All right, let's get serious now. All right, cheaters don't get second chances, baby. Whether it be a man or woman, this video applies to both. A cheater do not get no second chances. <clears throat> if you're in a relationship, I hope somebody, I hope young girls listen to me and don't make the same mistakes I did. So if you're in a relationship with someone and your commitment, whether it be a relationship or a marriage, you understand? Somebody goes out there, takes their uh, lies. First of all, cheating is a serious thing. Number one, that's a, that's a liar. That's a backstabber. That's a disloyal person. You understand? You don't let this loyalty in your life because that's how your life goes down the drain and that's how your life becomes very unhappy. Constantly being on edge, constantly being with somebody that you can't trust. <laughs> that stuff drive you crazy. Now, when you know that person, she, you look, you're looking at every woman and and jealous of every woman or male or and you're living on the uh, edge of insecurity. You understand? You're usually you're living in insecurity. Whenever you deal with some, because that's something like that type of betrayal is in behind, is in the back of your mind. Let me tell you something: a cheating is never no mistake, accident. People have self control. People have a choice. Unless you choose to have an open relationship and somebody go out there and put your life at risk by cheating. Number one, these people that they're cheating with. Sometimes they have the whole relationship and this chick is stalking you and you know nothing about it and you could get the, the chick is so jealous of you, she could harm you. That's what these side chicks is doing. They're watching, stalking, going on your social media. Listen, cheaters don't get no second chance. These people are disloyal, backstabbers, untrustworthy. You don't let, sorry, you made a mistake. Wonder if you can forgive. Wow, I forgive you. You made, you, you claim you went, you slipped, you, you accidentally took your clothes off, accidentally got in bed, accidentally made a phone call. You accidentally did all that. Listen, <clears throat> that's a low down person. You don't let that, you don't and let nobody like that in your bed. You know, said, take your life more serious. And I know black women are notorious for forgiving these low lives. <coughs> notorious for forgiving these men. Like they have no self-control. And this, this video is not only about men. It's about women or men. If, if your woman cheat on you, leave that, leave, leave that alone. That's nothing. That person is nothing. You don't, you don't be with that person. You understand what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. Somebody who go out, you know what it takes to cheat? That's a plot. That's a plan. You understand? That's premeditated. He in your face. <laughs> he or she is in your face, looking in your face and plotting to go behind your back like a snake. Let me tell you something. I doubt, I, I'm not going to pretend I'm perfect yet. I took a cheater back. That's how I can tell you. I took a cheater back. You understand? I was in the lowest, lowest place in my life. I, I, the lowest of low. And I'm going to tell y'all that right now. A low, low place. You know, sometimes when you're dealing with something like that, you got to check your self-esteem. You got to check your self-worth, check your self-value because you don't value yourself. And I can say that I didn't value, I guess <clears throat> my self-esteem was so low. I was being kicked down, beat up, like emotionally. I was going through so much different stuff. And on, and so on the injury, somebody that I'm trusting, laying there with, you going behind my back, sneaking, lying, snaking, doing, having intimacy, taking off your clothes and doing intimacy with another person now. <laughs> that won't happen. That same, that same person still begging me to this name. That's not happening. It's not happening. You understand? Don't let people re-enter your life. When they're gone, let them stay gone. When they're gone, let them stay gone. Period. Because you never know what sneaky plot they're coming with. They see you happy, you glowing, you, you, you doing good, you're beautiful, you're joying, you're doing better without them. They want to come back for what? Don't know. Cheaters don't get no second chance, honey. Let them live with themselves. Let them live with their conscience if they have one. You know what I'm saying? They want you to forgive them so bad so they can feel better about what they've done. They know what they did. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't, you, if you, if you know you're accepting somebody cheats, you, something is wrong. Your self-esteem is low. You, you, you love somebody who's violating you like that, disrespecting you, betraying you. That's betrayal. And now some of y'all chicks is weak as hell because y'all would diss your best friend and your friends and cut them off really easy. But y'all will let a man come in your life and cheat over and over and over and over. Think. You got to look at yourself. I know, sis. 
I'm saying it in a harsh way because it's only coming out of love. Don't let these men come and run, making them feel like they're king. That's not even your husband. And even if still, you don't respect yourself. You don't respect yourself. And that could be the issue. Look within yourself and find out what the problem is. If you need therapy, go to therapy. Because that's not love. And if somebody cannot control themselves, hey, go ahead and work on yourself for the next woman if they cannot control themselves. Or the next man if they cannot. You know what cheating takes? Taking off your garments, your items, doing all of this. And not only that, they're holding up a whole affair behind. Yo, this snake did me dirty. The grind ball hitting me up. Oh, trying to get... Nah, I don't play those type of I don't play those type of those those type of games. A snake is a snake. You understand? You cut that snake at the head. You let that go. Okay, because fool me one shame on me. Shame on you. Sorry. Fool me one shame on you. Fool me twice shame on me. I'm allowing that now. I'm allowing that. I'm saying that's okay for you to have your cake and eat it too. It's okay for you to sleep with me and then go and sleep with the next woman. Nah. That's what y'all putting up with. It's like y'all don't respect yourself. And then y'all running, running, chasing somebody that's cheating to fight the next. What's wrong with you? Think with logic. Some of y'all women only think with y'all emotions. You fighting the next woman for what your man is willingly doing. Did she tie him with a rope and pull him from you? Did she tie him with a rope? No. He did that willingly. Those type of people are low life. A liar is a thief and a thief is a liar and a snake and a, and a cheat is a dishonest person. A cheater is a dishonest, disloyal. You don't allow disloyalty in your life. Because that's going to bring you down. That's going to chip away at your self-esteem, your self-worth. Let those people be with that, be by themselves. or be. No. They have a commitment with you. You don't give people no second chances to doing no snake stuff like that. They was having a good time. And they're only sorry because they got caught. They have no conscience. These people have no morals. No character. You telling me you love me, but yesterday you were sleeping with somebody else? Come on now. Come on now. I understand, like, say for instance, okay, you're getting money from him or whatever the case, he, whatever the case may be. Put yourself in a better position and leave that. Take your dignity back. Take your self-respect back. Take your pride back. You couldn't respect yourself laying up with somebody who don't respect you. And then his whole family or her whole family probably know laughing at you, mocking you behind your back. Nah. I remember, yo, I remember one time when I, um, the ex that I told, that cheated. Oh, I, that's the only guy I ever caught cheating on me. I don't know who ever cheated, but that's a, I thought, I actually thought we had a relationship. That's what I thought. I couldn't, I don't want to look at that person again. Hitting me up. Your character is pathetic. I don't want you. Think I want you? I don't want to look you, at you. Look at nothing. Hitting me at all about what? Delusional. Mental illness. Delusion. Mental illness. Crazy? You know, you know, you respect yourself, hold yourself high. And I'm telling you, once you leave a cheater, your confidence goes out the roof. Because you know you're not putting up with that. Even if once you leave somebody you love and you have that strength to walk away, let me tell you, your confidence blow out the roof. You can walk away from anybody. I'm not talking about no little loser that I did to the side. I'm talking about an actual relationship, okay? People be thinking, oh, there was a You was never in a relationship with me. I only had three relationships in my life. That's it. Three relationships. That's all I had in my life. But honey child, you don't give no... That's breaking your self-esteem. That's breaking your value as a human being. Going behind your back. But you don't give no cheater no second chance. Period. You don't do that. There's no excuse for that. Because if it was an issue in the relationship and the relationship was real, they would have sat it down and spoke to you about the situation and the issue that they had. You don't give no, oh, it was a mistake. How you mistakenly do that? You tripped and fell in somebody that blind got eyes? You tripped and fell in somebody wonks? Come on now. You crazy? Nah, that's one thing. I, that's one thing, you women. Y'all need to stop tolerating. Let them. Let him feel the burn when you left him like a dog. Let him feel it. Now you don't even look at him again. Yeah, I told you I made a mistake, but that dead dog is still rotten till this day, begging, wishing he could even smell me. That dead dog is still rotting till this day, wishing to come back in my graces. That won't happen. I'd rather drop dead first. You have that conviction, that pride, that confidence. Boost yourself up, sis. I know it's hard. I know it's not easy. Get that strength. And that's what makes you a stronger woman. When you walk away from snakes. 
You're crazy, you tell me we're in a relationship, you're going around taking off your body, your clothing and having intimacy with another woman. And I remember one time I said, I won't, I won't you know, if a man cheated on me, I'm leaving him. And I, and I felt that energy. Now, I, you know, at the dinner table, his brother was there, he knew something. And I felt like the silence that, trust me, trust your gut, yo. I didn't know what it was because I never experienced cheating before. I never dealt with a man who cheated on me before. But that one devil, that sneak, he suffered until this day. Could never step foot next to me. You crazy? You, you, could, you could never breathe on me. It's trying to hit me up, trying to get back in my good. That won't happen. I'll die first. God, take my life if I ever, ever consider taking back a dog. A snake, a backstabber. God, I'm, and I'm saying in front of the, all everybody, take my life before I, take, before I take back somebody who ever did me that dirty and that grimy. No morals, no character. And the sad part is it could take you underground. It could take you to your grave. Then bring in diseases and mess up your reproductive, mess up all type of things about you. That's what these devils could do. Let me tell you, take your life serious. Take your self-respect serious. You don't let nobody play with you like that. Nah, take yourself so serious. I want y'all to take start taking yourself serious. You in a commitment with me. And you going around town, hoeing around town. Round town, you hoeing around town. And you, you think you better than me? You better take yourself serious. People, take yourself These little snakes. Let me tell you, these snakes, devils and lunatics and, and all these bad words I can say about these people, they're nothing. They're nothing. They have no character. Real people have character. They have loyalty. People with loyalty is real people. Real people have character. They're nothing. They're nobody. I'd rather eat crumbs with bombs than steak with snakes. You crazy? You're a snake. You went behind my back doing all this time, laughing in my face, living a double life. I, take yourself serious. Look at that snake like a, what it is, like a snake. And, and let that thing sliver out of your life. Stop, stop lowering yourself, lowering your self-esteem, lowering your self-worth. Yeah, I lowered my self-worth, but I'm confident now. I would not look at a snake again. Play with me, that's it. God, take my life before I tolerate that in my life. You crazy? You crazy? You have me. Ladies, I want, ladies and gentlemen, if you're decent people and you believe in morals, you believe in standards, you believe in let those, let those snakes sliver into a cage with themselves. Because when we start removing real people who have morals and qualities, when we start removing ourselves from devils and snakes, let them rot and, and eat each other alive, these devils and backstabbers. You don't look at them again. You do not observe them. You don't glimpse at them. You don't go on their social media. You don't look at their life, what jealousy games they're trying to get you to be jealous and feel sorry. You understand what I'm trying to explain to you? That people with no morals have no character. They're nothing. And they're nobody. Even if they have money and millions and truth. It don't matter how much money. If you have no morals, loyalty, or character, they're nothing. Let them go about their ways. Yeah, I'll laugh up with a man. Laugh up. You think I take these people serious? You have no character. Most of them are nothing. Nothing up. They're empty inside. Soulless. On nothing about them. No character. No self-discipline. -dis nothing. That's what these people are. Nothing. They are nobody. No cat. You think I could lay up with a dog? Anyway, guys, I hope y'all start taking yourself serious. And I did a lot of, and I got angry in this video because I had to put my passion out. These people are low life. Smiling in my, what, what is that? Two-faced? And you know it's so popular to sleep around, to be that type of person now. With no more. That's cool now. I have no morals. I'm a low life. I'm a dog. I'm a backstabber. I'm out here cheating on my wife with numerous women. I'm the man. You have no character. You're nothing. To me, that's how I look at people like that. You're not low. You're, you're, you're the man. Yeah. You're the man. You have no, you're nothing. You're, you're, you're out there cheating on somebody who's committed to you, loving you. and do, You're nothing. Look at people for what they are. Stop looking at their physical appearance. If, even if they look good. And let me tell you, ugly guys cheat the most. Ugly guys cheat the most in my experience. All right? Because let me tell you, they never got any attention in high school. All right? Attractive guy been getting attention. They're used to that. They're used to that. They're used to women. Attractive guys are used to women. All right? 
So when the ugly guy finally start getting a little money and getting a little attention, oh, they, they don't know what to do, honey. Ugly guys cheat the most. I'm going I'm to I'm put that out there. Sorry. Attract more guys that's more attractive and confident in themselves. Yeah. You know, people who are confident in themselves, they don't need to seek validation by going behind your partner. Some of them are spiting you. They want to let you or you think you are that. You think you are that. Let me do this. Or if you won't do it, another woman will. Some of them are spiting you. Let me tell you, you never let nobody love somebody more than you love yourself and have nobody letting you be wrapped up in your emotions over them. They're not God. Jesus Christ is who you bow down to. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. That's who you bow down to, Jesus Christ. Have some self-respect and dignity. When you walk with your self-respect and your dignity and your pride, know, you know that no dog can lay up with you. You're not catching no fleas. No snake can jump in your bed. And you have your pride and you have your confidence and you know you're not looking at them again. Yeah, that's how you get pride, confidence, and power. Real Talk New York with Johnny Cook. Big up yourself, large up yourself, guys. I don't want you to be lowering your standards for no one or nothing. Love you guys.